see how much- Because I have the heavy weapons anyway, so... Stun isn't too big of a deal. Well, these bears move in quick! Or oogs. What am I doing? Thanks, Pedro. Doink. The, the mace uppercut might be my favorite thing. Ow, stop it! Stop it! Oops. My mother is still held in this outpost near the Gigador. I must do everything I can to free her from the lion's claws. So will you accompany me? We will do everything we can to free her. Do not worry. Let's go. That's why it wasn't showing up on the map. It's because it's one of our personal quests. By the way, guys, I still need to know who we're going to romance. I have not heard any suggestions or requests. To my help and death to the others. Move away. Things are about to get <laughs> the one on the left. Well, TNT, that's ow. All of them? Oh, if only. That's a thing in Dragon Age, isn't it? You can, like, romance everyone and then get in trouble. Oh, don't run around it. That's just rude. I will say, the nice thing about the heavy weapons is that they just kind of stun lock everything. Ow! Root! I missed a body! <laughs> Derek! Okay, there, so far we, of the romanceable people, we have the native girl, the soldier boy, and the sailor boy. Does that help? Because Father Petrus is not an option. Probably for the best. He's basically our dad. Halt! Who goes there? De Sade. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. Oh, well, you can come in, Your Excellency. But this savage, on the other hand... Am I the one you call a savage, Renaigse? This young lady is the princess of her people, and she is with me. As such, I would appreciate if you let us through. Very well, Your Excellency. Please go and find the captain. I feel better knowing that he gave you his endorsement.
Well, who are you? Desarde, legate of the merchant congregation. Why are you at war against the natives? Because they reject our presence. They've been attacking us for months. These savages, they stubbornly refuse civilization, and our men pay the price. We can't let them slaughter us without reacting. Since you arrived here, you have destroyed the forest and ripped open the earth, and people disappear in our villages, the on all Manawi first. We are only defending ourselves, and we are the savages. Since we've defeated you, you can believe what you like. Anything else? Allow me to introduce Siora, the daughter of Queen Bladnid, whom you faced on the battlefield. We understand that you brought her mother here, and I would like to negotiate her liberation. A liberation? That'll prove difficult. She's dead. No! You! You let her die! You may even have finished her off like an agonizing animal! We didn't need to. When we collected her up from the battlefield, she was severely wounded. She died on the way to the camp. I want to see her body, Honor Manawi. Please. I must see her. Can we see her, Captain? If you're the one who's asking, Your Excellency, it should be possible. You're in luck. We were thinking about getting rid of it, but we received the order to keep her body. It's still at the infirmary. Ask the doctor. He'll show it to you. Thank you, Captain. Siora, I'm terribly sorry. Let's go see her now. I need to... I'm sorry, pretty flower. I really am. The infirmary must be the building on the right, near the camp entrance. Pedro, your man is hitting on my woman. I don't know how I feel about it. Who are you? Are you looking for a doctor? I'm the legate of the congregation. And this is Siora. The daughter of the queen whose remains you are keeping. I would like to see her. I need to see her. Please. My condolences, madam. The body of your mother is back there in the room on the left. Matt. No. I should give you some privacy while you are mourning. We won't be far. And the worst tears to me, my dear. Men sida den on mil frichtiman. I must take her with me on Almanawi. We must perform the rituals. The captain said that he was instructed to keep her body. It will not be easy to convince him to disobey. I do not care about the captain's orders. She is my mother. She must be given back to the earth. So. Let's go back to see the captain and try to make him change his mind. You can try, but with all due respect, I doubt that you will succeed. He will not want to draw attention to himself by disobeying this order. What do you mean? I believe he is a traitor, and that he made a deal with Teleme. Those are some serious accusations, even for a member of the Guard. Why would you believe such a thing? I overheard a conversation that got me thinking, and I also saw certain documents. He could use them to pressure him. Did you take them? No, that would be too risky. I do not want to get into trouble. But I suppose they would still be amongst his other belongings. Will they let us rummage through this place without protesting? Most of the guards returned to Hikmet after the battle was over. If you are discreet, you should be able to enter the officer's building. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Shouldn't you ask the captain first? Maybe he'll change his mind. You're right. Let's try talking to him before rummaging through the camp. I'm sure this will go well. Your Excellency, what do you want? We would like to retrieve the remains of the Queen. Bring her back to her people and her family. That will not be possible, Your Excellency. As I told you, the Governor specifically asked us to keep her. He wants to deliver to one of his scholars who wanted to study her. 25% Pedro, this is on you. Let's go. You have lost a lot of men in this battle. How would you feel if someone prevented you from giving them a proper burial? If you knew that their corpses were going to be given to some scholars to be dissected, wouldn't you want to have them back? 
The way I feel when it comes to my men does not concern you. <laughs> Didn't work. I cannot give her back to you. End of discussion. Captain, I insist. Let us take this body with us. I have orders, Your Excellency. I've already told you. It is my mother we are talking about. My mother, whom you let die by dragging her all the way here. Give her back to me, or I swear that I will <laughs> never leave you in peace. This isn't the right way to approach this, Siora. Come. This man is as cold as stone. I'm afraid we have no choice but to pressure him now. Like the doctor told us. We will have to be discreet if we want to find these documents without getting caught. Is that Tor's solution to everything? Is just start slitting. Anybody in here? Nope. The doctor was right. They are trafficking weapons illegally with San Mateus. If word reached. Just Hickmet. These men will face a firing squad, but none of these documents is signed. The captain managed to cover his tracks. Here's a document that could be useful. They're meeting with the buyers. Then we should go there. He won't be able to deny it if we catch him red-handed. There is a risk that he will react violently. But we have no other choice. Let's go then. I know this place. It is further down the road, near a large tree. More side quests! Don't worry, Tor, he might react violently. We can kill him. Perhaps. This is the tree that was mentioned. Let's hide while we wait for them to arrive. Sneak. Surprise! Well, Captain, you have some peculiar friends for a man who obeys the Alliance. You? What are you doing here? We stumbled upon some strange documents and wanted to see for ourselves if there was any truth to them. Sorry, my friends. If you want our shipment, then we need to get rid of this nosy legate. Captain, you are making a grave mistake. All we want is to negotiate. What? The body of my mother. Enough! I surrender! I would never have thought that you would dare to attack allies of the congregation. <laughs> it seems to me that you were the one who attacked. How did you put it? This nosy legate? Had you simply listened to us, Captain, this fight would not have taken place. All we wanted was for you to respectfully deliver the body of the Queen to her village. And will you stay silent about what you saw? We are neutral. Trading amongst yourselves does not concern us. In that case... Very well. I'll return to the outpost and ensure it's done. Now I would like for us to return to my village. I am eager to reunite with my sister. In that case, let's return to the Dreis. Don't mind me while I just loot your stuff right in front of you. This is fine. 
Hey, at least I don't have to break things. Is it our mother? I know Ziora. And the Varshtir say some men delivered her remains here. They said that it was thanks to you. And the Renaigze legate, thank you. We will be able to pay homage to our mother. Why are there mind shakers here, Aselt? I meant to tell you about it. They came saying that our mother had made an agreement with Teleme. But Mater did not tell me about it. She didn't say anything to me either. I do not like this, Iselt. These people want to drive us away from the land. I know. But we need help after the defeat. And they say that she made a promise set in stone. The spirits of the people of our village would have to go to the light, and in exchange, they'd help us against the lions. This is impossible. Mater would never have done such a thing. They are lying, I'm certain of it. They may be. But if there really is a promise set in stone, we cannot break it. And we will have to bury our mother according to their rituals. We must verify it. I will not stand there while these mind shakers take our village. Hello, my child. What a pleasure to see someone come to us with such eagerness. Do you want to hear the word of Saint Matthias and come into the light? <sighs> Not really, Father. My name is de Sardé. I'm the legate of the congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. What can we do for you? What exactly do you hope to do in this village? Well... Bring light to these naive souls, of course. When we spread the word of Saint Matthias, I'm sure they will embrace our faith with fervor. Anything else, my child? I must leave you. May the enlightened guide you. Is who the romance option? The one, both of the ones that I have in my party right now are romanceable. Bro, that, 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 romanceable. Well, in this case, it's more of, give us your souls and we will help you against a mutual enemy. Um, if nobody objects, I think we should do this, that we can pick up the last... The last party member. <laughs> the old guy. Uh, Father Petrus is not romanceable. I'm sorry, Tor. I know he's probably the one you relate to the most. He did have a quest for us. We can go talk to him. Go hang out with him. But... Oh, I can be an inquisitor. Or I can be a bird. <laughs> yeah. Ah, everybody wants to talk to me. But I want to go get the person before I do that. Well, I can talk to Kurt because I've already got him in the party. I'll do it later. That's an interesting way to spell Christopher. This valley is vast. 
We should get to a vantage point if we want to find this expedition. gonna silently murder this peacefully sleeping family of dog bears. Where am I going? And that's that's not really fair to the Sarde. Like I I actually did land on the island I thought I was landing on. Tents. This must be the expedition's camp. A camp here, in the open wind. It was definitely set up by scholars. Signs of combat. They were attacked. By the look of the tents and the campfire, it dates back several days. It seems that they were taken prisoner. I don't see any bodies. No weapon leaves this sort of marking. Perhaps they're wielding magic. Yes. It is the art of the Done Gada. One of the valley clans was here. Would you know which one? One who fights against the invasion of the peoples from your island. I can be sure of nothing more. Why would they attack scholars? They are not warriors. They come here as conquerors. This is enough. But they were not killed. Warriors would have been. This looks like scientific equipment. This must be the Lost Expedition's campsite. This looks like the Journal of a Naturalist. There are sketches of flora and fauna. There is no doubt. We are definitely on the trail of the lost expedition. It seems that one of the team kept a distance from the others. Let's see what we can discover. A trail of blood. That cannot be good. Follow it. <laughs> Look at you stuck on a bush, you dumb animal. It's okay, Seeker's not here, so I could be mean to the animals. More blood. We are on the right path. Keep going. Corpse. <laughs> they started Clothes it. Clothes cannot be mistaken. It is a scholar of the Bridge Alliance. From the looks of him, I would say he has been dead for days, as we already thought. This isn't the woman whose journal we found. There is still a chance that she remains alive. This man traded his life for all the suffering of my people. He was only a scholar, a sage, not a warrior on the battlefield. 
Do you think my people see a difference when bridgemen steal our people from their beds? From who do you think? All the clans hide their children. This man was unarmed. And from the position of his body, I would say he was fleeing. It is not honor that motivates them. Maybe it was vengeance. I'll search the body. We might find something to help us understand. Look, all those sleeping creatures that were, you know, peacefully minding their own business were in my way. Here is the isolated camp mentioned in the journal. Everything is in order, but the inhabitants are no longer here. Its position would have allowed them to escape the attack. Isolated. Discreet. Perfect visibility. Great choice. It is a journal. That of a woman from the expedition. A certain Afra. She speaks of their research and relates here that she felt watched. She feared an attack was brewing. I believe she was right. The writing stops in mid-sentence. A woman with sharp eyes. They might have saved their life. We must follow the tracks of the attack. They will surely lead us to the party of intrepid scholars. This woman was right to fear the Donea Egfregau. They must have followed this path coming from the swamp. This is where we should go if we want to find these lion scholars. Yeah.